Hi, welcome back to a singles functions tutorial. Well, here it's more like several functions, but it is a single function at the same time because it's what the sidebar does here. Now, there's a difference between the sidebar for the audio and MIDI. Here, you can close these down and sometimes you might not even know these are here because they're completely closed. So if they are closed, just click on these little triangles here to open them up. And you've even got more as well here. So you can bring that down and expand. So you've got mute, loop, uh, quantize. This is for the MIDI, of course. Transpose, uh, we've been over, we've got velocity, stuff that you kind of know already. Then this is really good function, the delay. You can delay your track by ticks, forward or back. And um, that is really good if you kind of, your track is kind of slightly out of sync, you can bring it forward and backwards. The dynamic, well, that's basically what it says it does. You can, you can uh, increase the dynamic of the track, uh, which is obviously the velocity dynamic and um, the gate time as well of the actual notes themselves. Then the clip length, um, we can show the score. So when you open up score, that shows. Then you've got like Q velocity, Q length, Q flam, Q range and Q strength. So this top part is the regions sidebar. So if I just go, I click on, like this here, that will just be the region part. And if I click on the whole track, then you go down here and you've got the track section. You can then adjust certain functions here like transpose, velocity, uh, key limit, the velocity limit, delay for the whole track itself. And uh, so when you go up to the, um, the audio tracks, you have slight different functions like the fade in, fade out functions, uh, when you've got type and curve for that, then you've got the reverse function, which is really cool. So that reverses the whole track, all the regions if they're selected. If, if you want to just do one here, it will reverse it. That is really cool. Then you've got speed as well, where you can like double up the speed of the actual uh, region that you selected, or you can do the, the whole um, selection as well, like say four times, so it speeds up the track. That's really good. Uh, and then obviously the tracks as well, you have functions here like pre-fader, flex mode here. And um, then you have the channel, the audio channel, stuff like that. Also, if you go back to the MIDI uh, on the track size, we have the instrument uh, and MIDI channel selection here as well. So you can select a specific channel. So yeah, these sidebar functionality is worth looking at and uh, I use it all the time. And they're kind of like shortcuts to, to access uh, functions. Also, to speed up your um, workflow, you can just put your hand over here. Uh, this will float anywhere you want it to float. So your inspector window will be available to you whilst you're editing different regions. This will speed up your workflow. So that's uh, really practical. Now, if that's too small for you, you can also go into Preferences, General, go to Display. And then here you can activate large inspectors so then they get bigger so there you have it i hope you enjoyed this video if you did like subscribe and i will see you soon ciao